Hi guys, it's Tom here for GAK. We are at the 2018 NAM Convention Center in Anaheim. Behind me is the Martin booth. We're going to check out some awesome acoustic guitars for 2018. I'm Fred Green with Martin Guitar. I'm in charge of product for Martin. And what I'm holding right here is new for 2018, which is our new HD28. Uh, we've actually redone our entire standard series line uh, with a few basic changes, which mostly includes we've added scallop bracing uh, to, to everything. We've changed the uh, logo up here. In, some, in other cases, the logos were always uh, gold foil. Now we've gone to uh, old style logo on everything. Uh, we've also gone to forward shifted on the scallop bracing. Uh, we've gone to an antique white binding. Uh, in prior years, this binding was, in some cases, ivoryed or uh, a real snow white color, and we're trying to get away from that and go for a more vintage look. And in this particular case, uh, everything is getting a uh, an aging toner all over the top. So all of our new standard series for 2018 are getting these upgrades. And it's no small feat when you have to go and change something like uh, HD28 and D18s and D28s. So we wanted to be really true to what guitar players wanted. And we chose the options mostly that people were choosing through the custom shop. Oh, and let me mention, last but not least, we've gone to a um, performance taper neck on all these new standard series. So not the big Vs and not the big full thickness necks, but to a much more modern feel uh, but still with a really, really traditional sound and look. New for 2018, this is our D45 John Mayer signature model. Uh, it goes for a scant $16,000. Uh, I worked with John on this particular guitar. Uh, I went and met with him. He was uh, playing with the Grateful Dead, and we sat down in his trailer and talked about guitars and what he liked and what he didn't like. And essentially it was born from the idea that he had a 1975 D45 that he purchased in Japan. And he calls it his beach guitar, and he would take it to the beach, and that's what he would play. And it said it always reminded him of sunshine. He wanted a guitar that sort of did that same thing. So we went through a lot of different changes and thoughts about what we wanted to do. And in the end, what we settled on was a Guatemalan rosewood, right here, and a really unusual combination on the top of the guitar. Uh, we looked at the different woods on the top, sort of like blending wine. In this particular case, it's an Engelman top, but the cross braces on that top are, are Adirondack and the tone bars of Sitka. Uh, so it has a really uh, distinct and unusual sound. It's an absolutely gorgeous guitar, big full thickness neck, no electronics. He didn't want any electronics in the guitar. Um, it's awesome. It's an awesome piece. When we got done, he loved it. One of the key attributes, if you look, Right here, you can see that the rosette carries through the fingerboard. And that's not as simple as it looks in the sense that this rosette looks like a simple circle, but when you go over a curved surface, that actual diameter changes. So it took quite a bit of math to get that correct. This is a specialty piece that we're doing for uh, just the show. Uh, we're working with an inlay artist by the name of Harvey Leach. And he's created this uh, very unique Madagascar rosewood uh, D45 that has a theme of fire and ice. And as you see it turn around, you'll see dragons with fire on the fingerboard, a dragon at the top bursting through the ice, uh, all inlaid in pearl. It's a $40,000 guitar. Uh, we're only making a handful of them uh, throughout the year. We'll see how many orders we get. But a really, really cool guitar. Um, maple binding all the way around it. It's beautiful. It's really cool. Also new for this year is we're actually, we have, a, we have a line of guitars called Authentics and they're recreations of famous Martins from the 1930s and the 1920s. And last year we introduced an aged guitar for the first time and we're expanding on that program. So what we have here is an aged D45S, 1936. Um, as you can see, you can see the lacquer checking like you would get from an old guitar. And not very many people do aged acoustic guitars because they're really, really difficult to do. It's very easy just to beat a guitar up, but it's not easy to make a guitar look like an old guitar. Uh, some of the things that people don't think about is you can't just age the outside of the guitar. You've got to age the inside of the guitar or it doesn't look right. So it's, it's a pretty intense process. 
The guitar has all the little dings and dents, all the little marks exactly where you would expect them, up along the top of the peg head where people lay guitars up against things, where they drop them on the bottom. It has all of it, Brazilian rosewood. And when you pick it up and you play it, it plays like a guitar that it's been around for 100 years. And it has that feel of a broken in piece, except you can get this one with a lifetime warranty. All right, what I'm holding right here for 2018 is a recreation of a 1931 0017. Uh, beautiful little guitar. The first time we've actually done our BTS uh, tour faction process on mahogany top guitar. Uh, it's so light, it'll blow you away when you sort of pick it up. It has an ebony truss rod, so there's no metal in the neck other than the tuning machines. And that's how it was originally produced in 1931. So we just copied everything from 1931 and built it just like that, high glue and all. And it is probably the most responsive little guitar you'll ever play. And little guitars are, of course, really popular right now. Uh, smaller body sizes are seem to be all the rage. At least they are here in the United States. Great guitar, 1931 0017. Here we are standing in the custom shop area. Just an idea of a few of the custom guitars that we have uh, for sale, uh, we bring to the show. This one over here we do on a lottery basis that you, you can buy. It actually has uh, actual gold coins inlaid inside the guitar. Uh, we also have, as you can see over here, a really beautiful blistered koa piece. It's really gorgeous. If you get a chance to get up close and see the inlay pattern around the rosette and some of the workmanship that goes into that, it's absolutely unbelievable. I'll show you the back of it, the sides. And this is the kind of stuff you can order if you come through our custom shop anytime. It's always available. Um, you just make a guitar the way you want to make it. And what we try to do is sort of show everyone what's possible if you want to order a custom guitar. You're not limited by anything other than your imagination and your wallet. That's pretty much it. Uh, we never say no. We only say how much.